bringing thousands more people to the populous Los Angeles, California. But Super Bowl 56 won't bring all the best kind of traffic. We can say like he's normally here, he's normally here. Authorities from across the country, including one McLennan County Sheriff's Office detective, are working on the ground and also remotely to track down human trafficking suspects and victims. Um, I can check for certain finances that are being that are being used. I can turn around and and work through Collective Liberty with all their artificial intelligence to scour the internet for those particular people. Working alongside Collective Liberty, a company that collects data and intel specifically on human trafficking, to deliver reports to law enforcement in LA. Things like advertisements for commercial sex, identities of traffickers, and identities of victims. Each of these you can see where they are, and then you can just hot spot them. Here's all the elements of your offense. Here's um, this person just bragging about all the, the trafficking that they're doing and, and everything that they do, and go forth and conquer. Scaramucci and the CEO of Collective Liberty, Rochelle Cahan, are working to provide some clarity about the Super Bowl being the biggest trafficking event in the world. What we do know is trafficking's happening every single day in all of these cities, and when a ton of tourists come in, there's the potential for more exploitation, both on labor and sex trafficking. The data is all over the place. In the last five Super Bowls, they have seen advertisements for commercial sex increase around the game in some years. In others, it isn't as high. Still, they know it is happening, and they're working to stop it, while also sending a strong message. It definitely um, helps strengthen relationships uh, throughout the job, but then it also ensures that bad guys are held accountable. For Six News, I'm Bailey Bates.